This is the second computer we've gotten that they've said that. Front panel positive and negative power switch. Shorted the motherboard apparently. Really? No, don't take your computer to Geek Squad. Just give it to us. We'll fix it way faster. Is that this one? Yeah. Geek Squad put the panel on upside down. Look Ooh. how neatly the Geek Squad, oh, man. Just clean it up a little bit. It took three seconds. Look how long that took. Wait, so those pins that are meant to short the motherboard shorted the motherboard? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, the things that short the motherboard to turn it on shorted the motherboard, now it's not working. Oh, let's see if it said constant CPU and GPU errors. Yep, definitely doesn't post. <laughs> I guess I'm crazy. So what do you got to do this one now? PC will not start up. Okay. Uh, so I'm in Windows. <laughs> I have to run full hardware testing on everything to make sure everything is fine. So do you guys have like a set of apps that you guys run to do all this hardware testing? Or? Uh, it, it's kind of situational. It depends on what we're kind of looking for. If we're just doing like a full suite of hardware testing, you know, we'll run Carhu for RAM test, Furmark for GPU thermal, 3D Mark or Port Royal to see if graphic engines are working on. Well. Beta, we have Railbench. But I don't see any logs in reliability. <laughs> so there's no reported errors from Windows, which can happen. Lights added to PC mother operable. They want RGB. Did they order RGB? No. They didn't. Found swapped power cable inside computer. What? Swapped power cable, huh? I don't know what they mean by swapped power cable. I guess I just start stressing it and see if something happens, really. Because they said it wasn't starting up, which, you know, sometimes they say no boot when they mean no post. Sometimes it's no post when they mean no boot, typically. Hello. Sometimes, you know, Windows updates fix stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have much to say to the customer other than Windows fixed itself. <laughs> And there's not much I can do other than that. I can run full hardware testing for weeks if they really want me to. And sometimes I do. They request it. That's an issue. Yeah, see that right there. Windows 2004 is a known unstable version of Windows. It sucks. It's terrible. It needs to be updated and gotten rid of. But I can't do that until I verify that there's an issue with it. If I alleviate the issue without verifying there's an issue, there's no way of proving that I fixed the issue. That's my job, you know? I update Windows and reseat RAM 80% of the time. Make it a mess? What? What happened to this one? Has to change out the motherboard and then this pipe fell out. What's in here? Godlike? Uh, 10 900 k 80 arms wet, 500 S, uh, I'm not too. So is that tube gonna stay in there? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Sign pop out? I just retained it. You sure? Well, it pops out, it's not, <laughs> kinda sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> Fix it? Nope. No? What do you mean? CPU error still? Don't know what that is. Unless I got bad luck. And got two bad motherboards. Bent pins? It's a brand new motherboard. Well, the CPU. Oh, oh yeah, I tried with other CPU, but there's no pins on the CPU. That's right. I, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Used to work here, remember? <laughs> I literally went over there and jacked that CPU. 10900K. Brought it over and it started working. That worked. I don't know, send it to testing, see what they can see. Even with the air? Yeah, I mean, what else can I do? Power is fine, memory is fine. I got his M.2. It barely flows. Yeah, because half of it spilled out. Did you oh. not see that? <laughs> Hey, CPU error for a satellite. Change out the motherboard, CPU. Change out everything? What did well, you do? I switched out it? the RAM, but. Did you change out the CPU already, too? Yeah, I took, I took another CPU. Have you tried just giving it to testing? Well, that's what I was gonna do right now. <laughs> oh, you're making a movie? Yeah, what? You know the format the videos for Instagram? Or. <laughs> it doesn't be like your motorcycle videos. Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for all the positive feedback. Uh, I do read what you guys say, so shout out to everyone who commented. If you haven't seen any of our vlog videos, go ahead and check them out. You can also find some teaser stuff on our Instagram Reel page, so don't forget to check those out as well. I won't be doing any water cooling builds in my PC here because I need to make videos like this for you guys, but we do have a ton of graveyard cases, so if there are any crazy build ideas that you guys would like to see, uh, let me know down in the comments and maybe it'll get featured in a future episode.
hit 96. So in this case, you just have them like upgrade to a water. Well, what I tried first was moving these hoses because they were originally over here and I've noticed that the heat was uh, just blowing from these graphics cards onto these ho uh, hoses. But now I'm just gonna take this off and put a fresh coat of new thermal paste to see if it'll help out the, the temperatures. What's the specs on this computer? Uh, 1600 watt, 3970 gigabyte TRX40 designer motherboard with 256 gigs of RAM. It also has SLI 3090. Putting on thermal paste, always tighten in a, in a crisscross pattern. Does it have a readout, like a temperature readout on the board, or is it just uh, that's the, codes? Those are the codes. Uh, if you see the ones that say C in them, C are actually for the memory. And normally, if we wouldn't have had uh, these big old air GPUs and we were to have the water cooled ones, Behind this, you'd be able to see red lights that would tell you what's wrong with it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, as it just cycles through the codes, eventually it'll get to a temperature gauge. If they're special, like like that one where they have a whole like hydro look system, we have to test them overnight because they can actually leak. So, so I had one actually leak the other day. It was crazy. Um, I had to like shut off the whole system and. All the tubes were hot, so the assembler couldn't even take off the tubes. Had to take out the distribution block and a bunch of stuff just to get it to work again. It, it passed and it went out, so. Okay. You can't get rid of that footage. You can't get rid of that footage. <laughs> Breaking things? You tell me I have to undo all of this. There's not gonna be space. Yeah, just take out the trays. Yeah, just take out the trays. Moving that from the fence. What the fix it? But it looks so good. Dude, does, look at how but... well these cables are organized. Perfect, flat, beautiful. Sexy. I gotta change it. Nice right, you should have filmed that thing with Jose. Cause okay, so I go over to, to Brian's desk and I'm like, hey Brian, I filled out everybody in our you department. Don't care. <laughs> no, I feel like he's like, hey, uh, you know, get all the time sheets from everybody, right? Yeah. And then like I'm done, I'm like, Brian, you're on the sheet, write it down. Uh -huh. He's all no. What? What is that? You're not even supposed to be in here. No, and then Jose's all, wow, you don't even know the name of your own inventory? I know the name of every person in here. I was like, Jose, what's my name? <laughs> what's, what's my name? And Brian's all. That's, that's how it be, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, dude, don't claim that you know everybody to somebody you don't know. I know everybody. What's my name? Nobody cares. Exactly. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> like, this Thomas, is... the guy who took away knives from everybody? Yeah. Oh, I, he thinks I'm the guy. Hey, you need two CPU cables? They come with two. They do now? Because everything needs two CPU cables now. Oh. Unless it's like a M board. So this right here is an internal unit that we use here in our marketing department for things like props, custom configurations to update the website with. But this is an example of one of the configurations that you can get through us. Just the run through the spec is it has an i7 11700K, 3070 Founders Edition, Z590 Prime, 32 gigabytes of G-Skill RAM, an 850 watt power supply, and our 240 millimeter AIO paired with the CM Halo fans. This is a great option if you're looking for a solid mid-tier personal computer perfect for the latest games and creative softwares for anyone looking to upgrade. So I think it's going to be a wrap for today's episode. If you enjoyed these videos, give us a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to say hi. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with, uh, and if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with more of these kind of videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.